Hello everyone. Let us have a look at the course overview for this program. The first module is about the fundamentals of industrial robotics. In this module, we will be dealing with the definition of industrial robot. We will look into the definition of industrial robot and the difference between industrial robot and a mobile robot. Next, we will look into the building blocks of an industrial robot. Then we will see some applications where industrial robots are critical. And finally, we will see the various types of industrial robots. In the second module, we will have a look at the installation of the software. Here, we will have a look at the various virtual environments or simulators available for developing robot simulations. Then we will work on software installation. Once we install the software, we will look into the process of unlocking the trial license of ABB Robot Studio software. Finally, we will have a look into the basic instructions of handling the ABB Robot Studio. In the third module, it's going to be all about the fundamentals of Robot Studio. Firstly, we'll start off with the basics of ABB Robot Studio, which involves software handling, importing robots and end effectors, and we will look into the various operations in the software. Then we look into robot specifications and robot controllers. Finally, summing up the basics, we will try robot jogging. In the fourth module, we will look into targets and paths. Targets and paths are important in robot motion planning. We will work on some fundamental physics that govern the motion of the robot. We will look into robot frames and robot configurations. Then at the end of the module, we will work on jogging the robot, teaching targets, creating paths and auto paths. Coming to the fifth module, we will look into the fundamentals of material handling operation, the definition and significance of material handling operation and the various material handling operations and their applications. Then once we deal with the fundamentals of material handling operation, we will try to understand the logic behind the pick and place operation. Finally, we will build a robot work cell that performs the pick and place operation. Coming to the sixth module, we will look into the fundamentals of material stacking operation. We will try to understand the logic behind material stacking operation. In the previous lecture, we understood pick and place operation using the vacuum suction principle. Here, we will do it by using the grip of fingers. Finally, we will build a robot work cell that performs material stacking operation. Coming to the seventh module, we will work on material tending operation. We will understand the definition and the requirements of a material tending process. We will try to understand the logic behind machine tending operation. Then we will build a robot work cell that performs the machine tending process. Finally, we will try to understand what is cycle time and how is it significant in a manufacturing process. Finally, the eighth module. We will work on conveyor tracking operation. We'll understand the definition of conveyor tracking process, what is conveyor tracking, and how is it different from other manufacturing process. We will try to understand the basic operation of conveyors and how can they be integrated with our industrial robots. Finally, we will build a robot work cell that performs the conveyor tracking operation. This time, we will use the IRB360 parallel or Delta robot for this operation. It is the world's fastest pick and place Delta robot developed by ABB. Its official name is ABB Flex Picker. So guys, I can't wait to commission some work sets. So without further ado, let's dive into the first lecture of this course.